LLMs have demonstrated remarkable capabilities across a variety of software engineering and coding tasks. But their application in the domain of code and compiler optimization remains quite underexplored. Training LLMs is quite a resource-intensive process requiring substantial GPU hours and extensive data collection, which can be prohibitive. To address this gap, Meta has introduced this LLM called as LLM Compiler, which is a suite of robust and openly available pre-trained models specifically designed for code optimization tasks. This model has been built on the foundation of CodeLama. LLM Compiler enhances the understanding of Compiler Intermediate Representations or IRs, Assembly Language and Optimization Techniques. Now, these big words like intermediate representation, assembly language, optimization techniques, don't let them deter you from using this model because this model is not only quite unique as we covered it on our previous video here on the channel and I will drop the link to it in video description. It is really a unique model which you can use quite heavily and in a quite optimized way in your coding pipelines. If you are a software house or if you do lot of coding in any language, then I would highly suggest you to have a look at this Meta LLM compiler and learn how can you use it in your coding platform. Specifically, for example, if you are a company which creates software as a service, for example, there are a lot of antiviruses out there. There are a lot of um, hosted software out there which are enterprise level all of these software can do a lot with code optimization these are huge distributed low level software which you can use easily in order to optimize your whole end-to-end -end workflow for example you have written a software in c or python or java but it is not that optimal and even if it is running fine Trust me, there is always a room for improvement and this LLM compiler model from Meta can help you out in optimizing that code. In this video, we will be installing this Meta LLM compiler locally and then I will show you a custom example as how can you optimize a Python code with the help of this Meta LLM compiler. Now, before we do that, let me give you some of the basics which are extremely important to leverage the full potential of this model, including what exactly is LLVM and these IRs are. And even before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website and I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Okay, let's go back to our LLM compiler and try to see what exactly this magic is all about. So as I was saying, the first concept you need to learn is LLVM. LLVM stands for Low Level Virtual Machine. LLVM is a collection of reusable compiler and tool chain technologies. In very simple words, LLVM is a tool or system that helps in building compilers, which are programs that translate code written in one programming language into another language, often into machine language or machine code that a computer's hardware can execute. So for example, if you are using x86 based processor, it has its own assembly or it's a, it has its own machine code. This LLVM converts your JavaScript, your Python or any high level programming language code into that compiled code. And that is what compiler does. And these compilers are built with the help of these LLVMs. Now another term which you need to learn is LLVM IR or LLVM Intermediate Representation. LLVM IR is a type of code used within the LLVM system. It is a low level programming language that is used as an intermediate step in the process of compiling high level code in C, C++, Python, Rust into machine code. 
think of it as a bridge between the code you write and the machine code that the computer understands. LLVM IR offers you portability, optimization, flexibility and lot of other stuff. So now you know what LLVM is and you also know what LLVM IR is. Let me show you one of the example from the research paper of Meta and then we will do our own example and we will use use that example in after installing this LLM compiler locally. Now look at this example on the left hand side is a prompt which is in LLVM IR language and on the right hand side we have the response. Let me make it a bit more bigger so that we would be able to see what is happening here. I'm just going to sign here and I'm going to scroll to the left. Okay, so on the just focus on the left hand side. So on the left hand side, we have this piece of code written in LLVM intermediate representation or LLVM IR. First up, we have module ID and source file name. These are just the metadata about your code and it could be any high level code which we have converted into LLVM IR. Then we have target data layout and target triple. These specify the target architecture, which is in this case, 64 bit x86 Linux. Then we have defined our function. Now in this function, you see there is this add underscore two. This is the name of the function. So we have defined this function add underscore two that takes two 32 bit integers. So I32 represents 32 bit integers and these are the input parameters percent zero and percent one. And inside the function, we have something allocate I32 where we are allocating memory for two local variables percent three and percent four are the local variables. And then we have store and load the store and load but they are this is store and this is load store instruction store the input value into into these local variables whereas load instruction reads the values back from memory into register percent five and percent six and then we are adding this nsf and nsw i32 so we are adding these two values together and store the result in the register per percent seven and then the rat is returning the result back this percent seven this is all this is doing next up we are defining some of the metadata attributes which provide additional information for the llvm compiler and sorry i just uh, let me go there okay so it is just providing additional information now after that you see that on the right hand side um, we have some more uh, we have the response let me go to right hand side now now in this one, we have just optimized add underscore two function again, if you see here. And what it has done is that it has optimized and simplified it. And now add underscore two function directly adds the two input parameters without using memory allocation and load store instructions. Also, we have this define that is similar, but now it only contains add nswi32, which adds the two input values directly and then returns the result. So we, it has subtracted a lot of steps, which saves, of course, a lot of <clears throat> memory. Plus also it speeds up the co code, it optimizes it. And then again, it has defined some of the attributes which have retained similar optimization attribute to ensure that it is still optimized for size and doesn't throw any exceptions. And then the original function had eight instructions. If you check again, and it was 65 byte in size. So let me scroll to left again. You see at the bottom. So now in this one, we have uh, the, the optimized function has only two instructions. So it has brought down the eight instruction to two instructions by after optimization. And the size has been reduced from 65 byte to 53 bytes. So in summary, we have provided a piece of LLVM IR code to this model and then we asked it to optimize the code and the response is the optimized version of the code which is much simpler and smaller in terms of instruction count and binary size and this is the keyword here instruction count and binary size 
and this is what Meta's LLM compiler does. You give it a code, it optimizes it by reducing the instruction count and also by reducing the binary size. So the optimization focuses on directly performing the addition here in this code without unnecessary memory operations resulting in more efficient code. And this is a very simple example. Just imagine you have very complex code. The more complex code, the more bang for the buck you will get, more optimization will be done. Okay, enough theory. I hope that now you understand what exactly LLM compiler does and what exactly this LLVM IR is. Now we are going to install this model on our local system and then we will give it a code. So let me take you to my trusted LL, uh, my, uh, LM studio and let me make it a bit bigger. Now click on home page and if you don't know what LM studio is, please search the channel. I have done heaps of videos on it. Just type compiler here, press enter and you will see some of the people have done some of the quantized versions and I believe I already have downloaded this Q8, the best available quant for this model in 13 billion size. This is a file here, just close to 14 gig and I already have loaded it here. So we everything is set i have loaded the model and i have offloaded all the layers of this model to gpu on the right hand side let me show you what exactly i'm going to do now let me open my vs code editor to show you the code properly so first up let's suppose we have and sorry let me make the screen smaller again okay hopefully you can see it so first up we have let's suppose we have this python function very simple one which is adding two numbers right so first we need to convert this, uh, maybe we will give it to our compiler and the compiler will convert it into LLVM IR code such as this code. If you want to do it yourself, you can use these instructions to do it and I will drop it in my blog, uh, this whole code. So don't worry about the code. You can just copy paste it and then you can run it. This code is going to take your function, this add underscore to function and then it is here you just give the function name. This is a add underscore to function and this is going to convert it into LLVM IR code. Or you could use any compiler to do that if you are that low level. And after running this code, you will get something like this. So this is our LLVM representation, instruction representation or IR. Now we are going to give this code LLVM IR with what we want to do to our new model. So here I am asking it, the model LLM compiler to optimize the following LLVM IR code using opt. Opt is a utility in this LLVM, LLVM IR which actually performs the optimization. So this is a code we have, let me copy paste it. Let me go to my LM studio. Let me paste it here and press enter. So you see it has started generating it let's wait for it to generate and then we will see what exactly is happening here and don't get scared by this uh, mumbo jumbo here i'll explain it to you okay so the model has generated the optimized code before i read through the code remember that this optimized llvm ir code represent a function add underscore to that adds two integers and returns the result this optimized code includes additional attributes and metadata to assist in optimization and target specific code generation. The function itself is very simple, but these extra details help ensure it is a op it is optimized efficiently for target ar architecture. Okay, now let's go and see what is happening. I'm just going to scroll down a bit. You see, we have again defined our module ID and target data layout. Target data layout specifies the data layout for the target machine, which details how data is arranged and accessed in memory. And then we have target triple that specifies the target architect architecture. In our case, it is x86-64. It means that it is targeting a 64-bit architecture running on a Linux operating system. And of course, it will be different for every operating system. And then we have this function definition so in this one you see various attributes are applied to the function to inform the compiler about optimization such as we have this min size 
and then um, we have min size for minimum size we have must progress which means that function make progress and won't be optimized in a way that could lead to non-termination then we have no free no free here you can see we have no free no free means the function does not free any memory then we have uh, no recurs the function does not call itself directly or indirectly and then we have various other optimization things like opt size will return and then function does not access any memory and then we have return the modules here and also it has done some declarations for llvm intrinsics that mark the start and end of an object lifetime in memory so all in all you know what this code is doing we don't have to worry about this we don't have to learn this at all this is not our job this is the job of compiler we are not compilers so what the advantage here is that all you need to do is that if you build these sort of software very um, which you want to optimize then you need to include this model just before you know right before and after your compiler to make sure the code which is being compiled is tailored and optimized for your target operating system and this is not only going to reduce the size of the code in terms of instructions and bytes but also it is going to optimize it and the code let's suppose the code which is now running which was running before for one minute now it is running it in 10 milliseconds and if thousands of users are using it you can imagine the scalability that is not only going to keep, make your users and users happy but also it is going to reduce your cost a lot so i mean i have uh, i think expounded enough that how good this model is how unique this model is and i really cannot wait to use it in production environment um, wherever high level and low level programming is being met of course if you are just writing hello world functions or some simple docker containers it doesn't make sense but i'm talking about production level um, you know code which is being used by SaaS companies or even enterprise uh, or you know resource planning software or big software so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think as i mentioned earlier the code which i have just shown you i'm going to put it in my blog and i will drop the link in video's description so enjoy if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot so thanks for watching